All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are going to begin constructing coordinates uh, as, on a line. And really, the idea is at this point, we're not getting to that standard XY concept uh, coordinate grid yet. At this point, we're just really uh, limiting ourselves to just a number line. And we're doing some unique things, some things that are not exactly standard. For example, some number lines are going to be at, at some odd angles. They're going to not necessarily be going up by ones. They might be going up by like fours. Uh, some number lines even go backwards, and that seems a little odd. Uh, but we're not we're not going into into negatives. We're just kind of um, really having students just rethink a uh, number line. So let's get started. So here we have a number line, and of course they they kind of got it at an angle here to make it kind of interesting. And they're not letting us know exactly what your unit is, but they are telling us that from here to here is 3, and from here to here is 3. So that means each of these intervals must be a 1. So if we wanted to, I I don't think we need to, but if we wanted to, we could say, well, that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, and we could continue on like that, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, but not necessary because our, our students in fifth grade, they could definitely be doing the skip counting and then count the, inter, um, the inside intervals as well. For example, what is the coordinate or the distance from the origin? So the idea is that 0 right here is the origin and what is the origin uh, what is the distance from the origin of the smiley face so here's the smiley face and the distance from the origin is 3 uh, we could do just one last one uh, what is the coordinate uh, at the midpoint of the lightning and the heart so you've got the lightning here you've got the heart here and we need to find the midpoint so uh, what I do with them to find the midpoint is I imagine uh, like these guys are walking in towards each other. All right, so the lightning goes one step, the heart goes one step, the lightning goes one step, the heart goes one step, the lightning goes one step, and the heart goes one step, and that's where they meet. There's your midpoint, right there. And what is that coordinate? Well, we know that that's 9, this is 12, so this must be 11. So the coordinate of that midpoint is 11. And here they've got a whole bunch of different kinds of number lines. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Well, this one's kind of interesting because they tell us that this is 0, this is 3. And we have to kind of like figure out what are these intervals. And so we're going to zoom in here. And since this is 0, this is 3, that tells us these dark hash marks must be our whole numbers. So that's 1 and that's 2. And since this interval from here to here is one whole, that means each of these inside things is a quarter, one-fourth. So what is the what is the distance 11 fourths or 11 quarters from the origin? One way to do it is to count to 11, 11 fourths. 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 4 fourths. 5, 6, 7, 8, that's 8 fourths. 9, 10, 11 fourths. So 11 fourths is right here, 11 fourths. And that, we're supposed to plot M, and that is the M. And so if we want it, well, no, let's go ahead and do it. It says, what is the distance from P to M? So here's letter P, here's letter M, and we could count 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, 6 fourths. So the distance from the letter P to the letter M is 6 fourths. Now we can also, let's take a look. Now this one I thought was a particularly interesting question right here. And it says, plot a point that is 15 hundredths, 0.15, closer to the origin than z. So the first thing you have to notice is, well, there is no origin, because we know the origin is 0. And so what we have to do is we have to use a little bit of logic, 
and we see that, oh, the small number is here and the big number is here. So that means the origin is over here somewhere. And we have to figure out what our intervals are. So let's start here, 75 hundredths. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's five uh, hash marks or five intervals from 75 to uh, hundredths to one whole. Now, if we think of this as money for a second, 75 cents to a dollar, each hash mark would be five cents. So if we wanted to, we could think of this as 80.8 or 0 0.80. Then we could think of this as 0 0.85, 0 0.9, 0 0.95, and then there's our 100 or one whole. And you'll notice I left off the optional zeros. That leading zero in front of the decimal technically is optional. Uh, so I left it off just because of space. Now, if we're trying to find a point that is 0.15 or 15 hundredths closer to the origin than z, that means it's going to be three intervals, 5, 10, 15, three intervals this direction, and that makes it right here. And we're going to label that. It doesn't say what label, so I'm just going to call it L <laughs> for label. Uh, and that point is the point that is 0.15 closer to the origin. Here it says number line K. And now what's interesting is we traditionally use uh, cursive letters to indicate lines. And so that's why this K looks so different. And I'll zoom in so you can see. That's, that's why we use this cursive. It's traditional. Uh, there is no law. It's just traditional that we do it that way. And the number line K shows 12 units. So we've got 0 over to 12. So I want you to notice one thing is this number line is kind of like going backwards than what we would customarily expect. It says use a number line uh, K to answer all of these questions. So plot a point at 1. So the first thing we have to know is, well, here's 0, here's 2. So that means 1 is going to be smack dab in the middle of those. So plot a, a, a point at 1. So uh, let's see, we're going to zoom in. And that means our point is going to be here, and we were supposed to use the letter A. And so that's what uh, that first question is going to look like. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to go through all of these questions and uh, label your point. So label a point that lies at three and a half. Okay, well, if here's zero, here's one, here's two, here's three. So three and a half is between three and four. And so that's going to be point B. And so we're going to zoom in. And B is going to be right here at three and a half. All right, and I think you get the idea. So parents and teachers, just allow your students. There's a um, some time to develop all that number sense. There's a lot of opportunities in this lesson to really review uh, numbers, uh, things like fractions, all over the place. We want students to be converting those improper fractions although there's nothing improper uh, with, about them, but uh, converting those fractions into more meaningful numbers, like mixed numbers or integers. Um, and, and that's that for this problem. It's really kind of a fun series of problems. And that wraps up fifth grade, module six, lesson one. We are beginning the process of learning uh, the coordinate system, but at this point we were just dealing with just one line. Sometimes they were a little unorthodox, but we were dealing with just one line, not quite a coordinate system yet.